Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, I'd like to delve a bit into bioenergetics, metabolism of a molecule known as carnitine. Learn your body, a science-based education. Carnitine has two metabolic functions which make a dramatic impact in our cells. But for us to understand those two functions, we should come to a base understanding of bioenergetics within the cell. Blood sugar, glucose, comes into the cell to end up in the cytosol of the cell. But to be metabolized in the mitochondrion, it undergoes glycolysis, where its end product is pyruvate. Pyruvate can enter the mitochondrion and is acted on by the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase, which turns pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA is a precursor molecule for cellular energy, so if the cell has a lot of it, it can generate a lot of energy. Because of the high concentrations of acetyl-CoA, the drive of pyruvate dehydrogenase to generate more acetyl-CoA is low. Here is where carnitine plays a role, after it has entered the cell through a carnitine transporter. Because carnitine can bind acetyl-CoA and transform it to acetyl-carnitine with the help of the enzyme carnitine acetyltransferase. The unique nature of acetyl-carnitine is that it can freely leave the mitochondria and the cell because it is membrane permeable meaning it passes freely through the membranes like those around the mitochondrion and the cell. This means that carnitine allows the removal of trapped acetyl-CoA in the mitochondria. As a result, acetyl-CoA concentrations drop in the mitochondrion, increasing the drive of pyruvate dehydrogenase to create more through the aforementioned glucose pathway. Yet, carnitine does something else as well. This time, carnitine acts on long-chain fatty acids, or more colloquially called fat molecules. Long-chain fatty acids are bound to carnitine in the cytosol of the cell by the enzyme carnitine palmitoyl transferase to long-chain fatty acid carnitine. Then, the carnitine acyl translocase allows this new molecule into the mitochondria, where it is used to eventually form acetyl-CoA, the same precursor molecule we discussed earlier that is used for cellular energy. So, all in all, carnitine clears our acetyl-CoA. It also allows for the formation of new acetyl-CoA through fat molecules, context-dependent. I hope you now have a better understanding of carnitine's metabolism, and I hope to speak with you in the next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.